Hi, I'm Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Bench's YouTube channel. In response to a comment that was left on our last film where we showed you how to solder jump rings to make a chain, one of the questions in the comment section down below that particular film uh, was how do we actually clean that type of chain? How do we polish that type of chain? Well, in the type of chain, and I'll link the description down below, and it's also at the end of the film, uh, we would actually hand polish that. Because the links were so big and thick, hand polishing it is the best way to do that. You must never polish a chain on a double-ended um, bench-mounted polishing motor. It's just far, far too dangerous. What I would advise you to do is to perhaps use a pendant drill at a slightly slower speed so you've got complete control over the links that you are polishing. But if you were polishing uh, a thinner chain made with very fine jump rings, this next technique is ideal for that. Now this is a technique called scratch brushing. You can get machines out there um, that are like a single spindled bench mounted polishing motor, but you put a brass brush on the end with an enclosure and as that brush turns there's a constant stream of water coming on the brush and you can clean delicate pieces of jewellery that way. We can do that in our own workshops simply by using a brass brush. This is one that I have had now for many, many years. In fact, I've had this close to 20 odd years and you can see it's taken quite a bit of bashing as you can see. So what I thought I would do is treat myself to a brand new one. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six row brass brush. It's not like um, a steel brush that you'd get in your hardware store. This is fairly, fairly soft. And we can use this to clean a very fine chain. And what I've got here today are a bracelet, a coin bracelet with some um, thruppany bits, I think it is, that we can use in this particular demonstration. And also this type of pendant that we've got here with a cable or trace type chain as well. Now this technique is brilliant for cleaning up charm bracelets. This will work on gold as well as silver and this is a technique that we use the majority of times for cleaning up gold chains. I'm going to show you how to do that now. You need a brass brush. It's preferable to use brass, it's a little bit softer. Um, you've got to be careful though because it's brass you may find upon the silver if you use it too much without some soap that the brass will actually colour the silver and it may end up with a slight yellowish tinge. So what I would always use is some soap. This is a simple soap dispenser. What I would love and what I used to use was imperial leather soap, the Barra soap. The most beautiful, best type of soap to use in this particular situation. But if you haven't got a bar of soap, this pump dispenser soap is ideal. And you also need some very, very hot water as well. If your hands are nice and delicate, unlike mine, you can use a rubber glove to go over your hand to protect it from the heat and also from the brass brush. Silver charm bracelets are an ideal candidate for this particular type of technique. They are coming in and out of fashion and they get put in a drawer, they tarnish, they discolour. People bring them out of the drawer and they usually look terrible. But this type of finishing is one of the best ways to clean that type of bracelet. Let me just show you what we need to do here. We're going to be using the brass brush, my new brass brush. We put some hot water into our bowl here and it is a really a simple matter of making sure the brush now is nice and wet, okay? Then you just put a little bit of soap onto the bristles like that. Wrap the chain around your hand so it's taut. Don't pull it too hard, otherwise there's a chance that you may actually break the chain and simply just get the brush and just simply go up and down the chain. I pass will go at the diagonal movement. And you can see, just literally going back and forth half a dozen times that that little bit of chain there 
It's absolutely gorgeous and clean. Compare it to this bit of chain here that we haven't cleaned yet, dirty, and this chain here is beautiful and clean. Make sure you put in, put some more soap on it and just spin this around. You can even use it just to clean up the pendant as well. Perhaps change the position of the chain upon your hand so you get in between every single link. And that now is one chain, beautiful and shiny. And because, because the scratch brush goes in between every single link, we can see how beautiful and shiny that is. And we can use the same technique upon this bracelet as well. Make sure there's plenty of water on the brush. Get your soap on it. And again, we can just go over, making sure that there's plenty of water. And you can go over the face of these coins. And again, as you can see, you get a gorgeous shine on them. Turn it over. Something like this, I would not want to polish up on a wheel, polishing mop. Sometimes it's just that little bit too dangerous. But for cleaning all these little jump rings and bolt rings on this bracelet here, it really does a most fantastic job. So literally within seconds of rubbing it with a brass brush, it does polish these thin, delicate, hard to reach areas absolutely brilliantly. As I said, you need the soap to act as a bit of a lubricant. It stops the brass color coming off onto the silver as well. And I personally think using a brass scratch brush is the best way for cleaning very fine, delicate silver and gold chains. And it's the best way to clean charm bracelets. My name is Andrew Berry for At The Bench's YouTube channel. And don't forget, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And also please, I'd love it if you could possibly share this particular film with your friends. And if you have any comments, I'd love to read them. Just pop them down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. See you on the next film. Bye-bye.